Good morning. It is Monday, March, what day is it? 14th. So this is week four. Um, I ran out of phone memory um, over the weekend, so I didn't do video stuff, but a lot of stuff happened. I had a lesson on Thursday. I had a rehearsal delayed Thursday. I did practice on Friday. I did practice a little Saturday morning, not terribly much. <clears throat> and yesterday I just did a really slow playthrough of my piece. Um, as you can hear, I'm afraid I'm losing my voice. I don't really feel sick, but I think just talking so much um, and teaching has made me lose my voice. So I'm really hoping it lasts the week so I won't be talking very much to you guys this week. Um, but because of a really long um, week and a busy weekend, um, I did not get to watch my lesson video. So instead of practicing right now, um, I'm going to watch my lesson video because Rebecca really helped me with some bow hand stuff that I don't remember fully, so I'm going to watch the video to make sure I can take notes on that. And then I'll practice this afternoon and tonight, and we're in the final countdown, Recital Saturday. Um, I'll try and put the information to the event down in the link, um, or down in the description, the link to the Facebook event down in the description if you want to come and see how it goes in person. All right. Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, March 15th, otherwise known as the Ides of March. I did actually practice yesterday, I just didn't film any of it. Um, yeah, it's weird, I don't actually feel really sick, I just feel really tired. My throat's been a little scratchy, so I'm trying to wash my hands as much as possible, and I'm armed with tea. Um, I have my super geeky mug here that my friend Laura gave me for Christmas a few years back, so... So it's getting me through. I've kind of given myself permission not to do anything except just the lessons that I'm teaching and practice and I'm letting home turn into kind of a disaster um, cleanliness wise, but just have to get through Saturday. Um, it's interesting, this happens to me a lot. I guess this is partially what happens when you schedule a recital the first day of your spring break. Um, and also, I find that I tend to get so, so high energy about performing that if I'm like really tired when I do it, it kind of averages out. So like my extra crazy energy gets me through the performance like I'm normal, but whereas if I was at totally normal energy levels, I feel like I might go over the top. I don't know. That's probably, maybe, I don't know if that's actually psychologically sound. Um, but anyway, I have a few... A real, you know, a few days left to go. Um, I have a few kind of goals that I want to do. Um, the first thing is that the harmonic in the top of the scale and the tarantella has not been speaking as cleanly as I would like, and I'd like to fix that. I'd like to feel more comfortable with my false harmonics, and I'd like to uh, stabilize my intonation on the G string spots. Um, and then there are some places that I just need to make sure I play every day to keep them in my fingers, so the pizzicato, that fun transition spot. Um, the octaves and then the arpeggios at the end. Um, something my teacher said to me in my lesson on Thursday was just don't use as much bow, don't play as loud, and don't think about it too much. So I'll play it really slowly, making sure I'm in tune, and then we'll just see what happens. So um, as soon as I get myself out of this chair and drink my tea, I will do that and try and film a little bit so you actually have a video this week. Here's an idea I haven't thought of in three weeks. Why don't I prop the phone on something that's not a music stand, and then you can actually see me play. Ha! Huh. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to work through some things, uh, kind of just breaking it down. The last week of my practice often looks a lot like the first week, in just terms of being small sections, really focused. Um, oh, and if you can see here, I've put some tissue in my left ear. This is a trick I learned from my teacher in grad school because the left ear is so close to the violin. Um, forcing yourself to listen from the right ear actually gives you a little bit more of an honest representation of what it sounds like since it can be a little distorted right under the ear. Um, so I'm gonna work on the G string stuff in the introduction.
of the big challenges for me has been this transition between the introduction and the Tarantella, and I worked on it in my lesson, and it's uh, coming down to the relationship of the bow hand to the bow arm, which is that the fingers actually have to be pretty active in the up bows, but the arm has to keep its arc across the strings going, and then of course you have to play notes. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to do it slowly and kind of exaggerate the different types of motion a few times. Is really simple today. I'm working on making a list of places that need attention. I am going to play each of them ten times slowly and carefully and then I will run the piece a little bit later. And that's all that's happening today, which is Wednesday by the way.